Welcome sa ating program na Let's Talk About Mental Health. Alam niyo po ba mga kaibigan na ang galit, ano ho, anger, ay isang normal na emosyon ng tao. Kung paano ito nagiging problema sa ating kaisipan, sa ating katawan, sa ating kalusugan, sa ating mga kasama sa bahay, mga kaibigan, yan po ang pagtutuunan natin ng talakayan dito po sa Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ngayon po mga kaibigan, meron tayong dalawang dalubhasang mga resource speakers. Ipapakilala ko muna po ang ating pa uh, uh, guest. Uh, ano nga ang Tagalog sa guest? Uh, panauhin. Panauhin na pandangal na lalaki. Ano ho? Siya po ay Registered Psychometrician, MA Counseling Psychology, may positive or siya po ay instructor ng positive psychology ng Adventist University of the Philippines. Siya po ay isang mental health practitioner. May iba't ibang uh, affiliation siya. Ano ho? Siya ay associate ng Psychological Association of the Philippines at member ng Philippine Mental Health Association. Marami na po siyang training pero i-mention ko lang po ang isa. Uh, siya po ay nag-training sa clinical psychology ng National Center for Mental Health. Mga kaibigan, Ibigan, ipinapakilala ko po si Ralph Jason F. Guanco, sir. Welcome po sa ating programa. Maraming salamat po. At ang pangalawa po nating panauhin ay isang napakagandang dilag. Ano ho? Siya ay registered psychologist at uh, PhD in counseling psychology in progress. Very, very soon magiging full pledge na po siyang uh, doctor, no? doctor in counseling psychology. Um, siya po ay ang chairperson ng psychology department ng Adventist University of the Philippines. Siya ay isang mental health practitioner and a certified assessment psychologist. Marami din po siyang mga affiliation. Ang isa na dito ay ang associate siya ng Psychological Association of the Philippines. Siya din po ay member ng ASEAN or Asian Association of Social Psychology at consultant po siya ng Department of Health Private Rehabilitation Center. Marami din po siyang training but I will just mention ang kanyang training sa UPPGH Psychiatry Department or Psychiatry Department Clinical Psychology. Mga kaibigan, ikinalulugod kong ipakilala sa inyo si Myrtle C. Orbon. Hello po, hello, uh, hello po. Ma'am Myrtle and Sir Ralph. Welcome to um, Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ngayon, pag-uusapan po natin ang, um, sabi ko nga kanina, mm -hmm. normal na emosyon ang magalit, di po ba? Uh, pero, uh, pwede po ba muna, uh, pwede nyo po ba muna i-define sa amin? Ano ba ang gustong kahulugan ng anger or anger or galit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mayroon po tayong dalawang um, titignan na konsepto mm -hmm. ng anger o galit. Mm -hmm. Ang una po natin titignan, ito ay isang strong emotion mm -hmm. of, um, or strong feeling of irritability, annoyance, or hostility because something unfair has happened o may nangyari na hindi mm -hmm. ine-expect mm -hmm. o hindi mm -hmm. o ayaw ng isang tao. Parang outburst. Outburst, sudden mm -hmm. outburst, parang ganun po. Ang isa po natin titignan pa ay mm -hmm. ang tinatawag natin protective emotion. Maari mm -hmm. siyang maging protective sa atin, maari mm -hmm. siyang maging magamit natin sa as a defense against mm -hmm. psychological or physical threats. Mm -hmm. So that's what so anger usually, is. So usually, usually yun ang nangyayari yung uh, yung protection, mm -hmm. no? Protection natin pero hindi natin alam na yung protection sa ating side sa ka sa kabila naman eh, nakakaapekto mm -hmm. ano ho, mm -hmm. sa emosyon ng iba. Yeah. Um, oh, usually yung galit po ano normal po ito nang nararamdaman ng bawat mm -hmm. isa. Pero ang isa po sa mga nagiging problem ay kung paano natin ini-express ito mm -hmm. kasi pagkakaroon ng normal na emosyon, mm -hmm. nagkakaiba-iba tayo kung paano natin ito pinapangatawanan. Okay. So, oh. halimbawa, may isang tao, nagalit siya, mm -hmm. pero malumanay niyang sinasabi. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, oo nga. Oo, may mga bagay din po na paggalit tayo, mararamdaman natin yung kabog ng dibdib, mm -hmm. tapos talagang so, gusto natin siya. Oo, oo. Flashes, oo. So, ito yung mga panahon na mararamdaman natin mm -hmm. sa katawan natin na nakakaramdam tayo ng galit. 
Ayun. Oo. Oo. Ano ba ang dahilan bakit nagagalit ang mga tao? Um, actually po, marami talagang dahilan uh -huh. kung bakit nagagalit ang mga tao. Uh -huh. Ang una po dyan ay tinatawag natin unmet expectations or unmet needs. It's mm -hmm. either sa sarili natin mm -hmm. dahil nga meron tayong mga bagay na hindi natin na makapit. Na gustong ma-achieve. Ma pero hindi natin makamit uh -huh. dahil nga an, uh, uh, may mga, mga barriers na naghaharang mm -hmm. sa atin para makamit ang mga iyon. So that's, that's just one cause. Mm -hmm. Another one is others. For, for example, someone is angry at you. So, o ni-prinovoke ni ka. O, prinovoke ka ng isang tao na magalit sa iyo. Then, that would that's what just one cost and add, um, the third one would be the world or the environment mm -hmm. the weather or temperament or the, the temperature itself mm -hmm. would affect the person's um, temp um, anger also mm -hmm. okay so uh, yes um, yeah. um, to add on to that po sa mga uh, tinitingnan po natin yung causes ano maraming mm -hmm. po talaga tayong angle uh -huh, na pwedeng uh -huh, tingnan uh -huh. pero kung titingnan po natin sa psychological perspective may mga tao po kasi yung sinasabi natin minsan na Uh, close-minded. Ah, so, okay. ang tawag pa natin doon ay cognitive distortions, either mm -hmm. all or nothing. Mm -hmm. Pag hindi mo to sa akin ginawa, ibig sabihin siguro nito, baka hindi mo na ako gusto bisang, bilang isang empleyado. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, pag hindi mo ako pin-remote, nagkakaroon tayo minsan ng parang oh. sama ng loob, galit. Hindi mo yan ipahiram sa akin. Talaga magagalit ako. Oo. Oh, oh. So, minsan po may mga iba't ibang pananaw kung paano natin makikita ang anger. Pero, in a psychological perspective, may mga kadahilanan po na the way we think, kung paano po natin titinitingnan yung mga nangyayari sa paligid natin. At kung paano natin to, uh, kung baga po ay in-integrate, like we felt bad, I felt humiliated, mm -hmm. and I felt disappointed, mm -hmm. and in the end, ayoko na siyang boss, hindi ko na siya gusto makita. Oh, 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 oh. Ayun. So, na, dumarating po yung punto na nagkakaroon tayo ng galit. And other than that po, may mga tendencies po kasi tayo bilang isang tao, may mga tinatawag po tayong personality type. Mm -hmm. And there are personality type na prone po sa pagkakaroon ng magagalitin. Uh, ano meron pong ngayon? common or the basic personality type, the type A and then the type B. Mm -hmm. For the type A, sila po yung talagang very active or should I say not laid back, mm -hmm. involved in some instances. So when they, get, when they don't get what they have to do, when they don't get what they want, what happens is, naiinis sila oh, sa sarili oh, nila. Oh, Ayun. Oh, okay. So, sa so type B naman, parang, okay lang yan, laid back, that's okay, mm -hmm. I can still do it tomorrow. Walang pakialam. Yeah. Kaya may. Oo. Oh, oh. mm -hmm. Siguro po, dagdagan ko rin ang Filipino context. Sa Philippines po, ano, in, in, our, con in, our, in our context, mm -hmm. tayo po ay, mag, mayroong tinatawag na kapwa. Mm -hmm. Yun mahalaga sa atin yung kapwa. Oh, oh, oh. So, madalas, kahit masama na yung loob natin, hindi din natin to nasasabi. Oh, oh. So, ang, ang nangyayari, yung galit ay napupunta sa sarili natin at hindi natin ito mailabas. Mm -hmm. Ayun, it's either punong-puno tayo ng galit pero hindi natin masabi. Kaya araw-araw, sa umaumaga na nakikita natin yung katrabaho natin na doon yung hindi natin magandang pakiramdam tungkol sa kanya, ay hindi po nawawala yung, yung galit. Ayun, oh, tinatago po natin. Ah. Oh, so, mahir pa lang itago yun. Dapat ilabas. Opo, oh, actually, that's, uh, na po, isa po yan sa mga ano natin, defense mechanisms natin, mm -hmm. na kumbaga pag ang emosyon mm -hmm. ay, ay nakatreten na sa atin, mm -hmm. we would ano, oh, uh, hide it mm -hmm. as much as we can para, ma, ano, para hindi lang tayo makasakit ng ibang tao. Paano ang best way na harapin ang galit? Yeah, ang maganda pong katanungan yan. It's more on how to deal with anger. Mm -hmm. Ayun, kasi nalaman natin na normal nga siya. Mm -hmm. Ayun, so there are so many ways po na paano natin siya ma-handle ma ng maayos. Mm -hmm. Ang una po siguro ba, kasi Sir Ralph marami pang pwede mabanggit, pero ang isa sa mga mahalaga ay yung awareness. Mm -hmm. Ayun, ang awareness po ay isa siyang napakalaking aspeto. Kasi madalas po, ano, pag napapansin natin, pag galit tayo, hindi na natin nararamdaman yung paghinga. Oo. Oh, oh. Ayun. Mm. Samantalang, breathing must be felt. Mm -mm. Ayun. So kung paano natin ito ma-handle, kontrol muna natin. Dapat mm. na enjoy mo. Yes. Talagang pong, huwag muna natin patulan kung ano man yung nangyayari. So stop muna tayo, magkaroon muna tayo ng sense of awareness kung ano yung nasa paligid natin. Mm -hmm. Matama ba na sumbatan ulit natin yung taong meron tayong sama ng loob? Mm -hmm. Or mas makakabuti kung Mag-stop muna tayo, pause muna tayo, hinga muna ng malalim, then tingnan natin yung mga pagkakataon kung ano ba talaga nangyari sa sitwasyon na yun. Ayun, yun po yung isa sa mga pauna na okay. pwede nating magawa pag ramdam na talaga natin na nandun yung galit natin oh, sa sitwasyon. Kasi importante rin na 
ma-regulate natin yung emotions natin. Oh. Every time na ano tayo na hihirapan na tayo sa ating mga emotion, especially oh. anger because mm -hmm. it is deemed as the most powerful emotion. Oh. If not, hindi mo ma-regulate ang mm -hmm. nangyari. Because so, it will generate anxieties, oh. Oh. aggressiveness, mm -hmm. more problems mm -hmm. if you will not be able to regulate your emotions properly. Oh, okay. There are actually uh, proper regulations of emotions. The first one, we have actually two. Mm -hmm. The first one is the cognitive reappraisal. Mm -hmm. Cognitive reappraisal is how you think, how you mm -hmm. Um, what are the thing? What are the things, things that are you are thinking about? Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with it? How you how do you handle those kind of things? Mm -hmm. The second one is the expressive suppressions, which I have said already that mm -hmm. uh, we hide it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's not that it's not oh, good oh, to oh. hide emotions always. Anong mga yare pag pinigil mo or uh, tinago mo ang yung emotion ang yung galit? Oh, oh. What will happen to your body? What oh, will yun. be yung, yung mga uh, bodily reactions if you are angry? Mm -hmm. Anong nangyayari sa yung katawan sa yung brain kung ikaw ay angry? Oo. Oh, oh. Meron pong isang teorya na sinasabi na ang anger ay parang isang poison mm -hmm. na any emotion na pag tinitake in natin siya ay para isa itong lason mm -hmm. na kapag patuloy nating kinikimkim ang nalalason lang in the end ay yung ating katawan ano po so parang it's more on how we handle the emotions like what Sir Ralph mentioned about regulating our emotions so ano ba yung tawang paraan ano po Oo. ayun siguro po tingnan muna natin kung gaano tayo kalala or severity ng anger kasi normal nga po ito mm -hmm. ano may mga bagay po kasi na minsan ay yung frequency madalas tayong madalas. nagagalit oh, okay. ayun so intensity pag nagalit talagang gigil nagigil mm -hmm. ayun minsan po duration it lasts for at least one day even a month ayun mm -hmm. so makikita po natin na for 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 that point of time there are individuals who cannot really regulate their emotions, emotions properly, properly. Oh, so oh. how severe is severe yeah uh, one thing po na we have to take note is that for the severity mm -hmm. it must affect the person and the people around the person mm -hmm. And also, not just that, pati yung functioning niya, mm -mm. affected din. So, mm -hmm. let's say, yung sa trabaho niya, hindi niya na kayang i-relate yung kasama oh, niya na oh, nagagalit siya. Mm -hmm. So, hindi na sila pwedeng magkatin, mm -hmm. parang ganun po. Ano. Mm -hmm. So, may mga times na with that, hindi na siya nagiging optimum sa functioning mm -hmm. pagdating sa work just because oh, of the anger na kinikimkin. Yun ang nag-hinder sa kanya na to, to function yes. well, to function oh. normally. Okay. Uh, when does anger becomes a problem? Paano nagiging problema yung, uh, yung pagiging galit or pag pagiging magalitin mo? Uh -uh. Ah, kapag ano po, katulad po ng nasabi ko kanina, kapag hirap na talaga siyang irregulate yung emotions mm -hmm. niya, yung, tapos too much na yung, uh, yung intensity, mm -hmm. kumbaga sobra na yung degree mm -hmm. ng anger level niya. Mm -hmm. So all of us should know the anger level for us to, be, uh, mm -hmm. to know na nandun na ba tala tayo, talaga tayo. Mm -hmm sa level na ano okay. na may problema na ba talaga tayo sa ating anger at that we need anger management na talaga. Mm -hmm. So dapat po ating alamin sense of awareness as la, mm -hmm. what Ma'am Myrtle said that we need to have sense of awareness about it because in uh, neuroscientifically speaking um, anger interrupts the functioning of the frontal mm -hmm. lobe the frontal lobe which so, is responsible for decision making. Ito na yung nangyayari sa katawan mo. Mm -hmm. sa, sa brain mo saka sa katawan mo. Sige. So this is responsible for decision making. So mm -hmm. once you have anger or once you are angry it deters. It, yes. Oh. Oh, so it affects the decision making. making. So everything because this is the executive functioning oh. of our brain. Oh. So it is responsible for that. But kailangan dapat ay maayos talaga natin emotions natin properly ma-regulate ng maayos at maging maayos yung so, ating healing. So, tama yun, ano? Kaya pala, yung mga nanay at tatay natin sinasabi, sinasabihan tayo, kung galit ka, huwag mong papaluin ng iyong anak. Mm -hmm. Kung galit ka, huwag kang magdidesisyon. No? Mm -hmm. Kasi, uh, it will deter. No? Pwede nitong maapektuhan yung decision-making power natin, yung judgment natin. Napakaganda. How about yung iba't ibang function ng ating, ano, ng ating katawan? Sa iba't ibang organs ng katawan, if you get angry, what happens to them? Mm -hmm. mm. One, uh, I've read one article mm -hmm. which says that uh, it will affect the immune system, mm -hmm. ating katawan, the immune system because Why? of too much anger ba? Parang masyado mong... Parang dati, acidic oh, masyado. Masyado mong, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> uh, hinahide mo nang hinahide, mm -hmm. which is not healthy. 
kasi nga dapat nire-release siya in a good good way. Mm -hmm. There are good ways to release our anger. Mm -hmm. But that that is uh, anger management mm -hmm. on how you release your anger. Mm -hmm. So, Ma'am Martel would like to say about the anger management. Okay. Yeah, there are. Oh. Yeah, um, I think balikan siguro muna po natin yung tanong kanina na kung paano ito nagiging problema. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Actually, there are some instances na anger or anger is just a symptom of a, of a very severe problem. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, isa po doon ay yung tinatawag natin na impulse control. Mm -hmm. Ayun. Kung baga po, ang tao talaga ay siguro babalikan natin yung konting biology na may mga neurotransmitters tayo na hindi balance. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, nahirap siya na kontrolin yung emosyon niya, yung impulses mm -hmm. niya. So, katulad ng binagat ni Sir, Nandun talaga yung madali silang magalit, madaling maano, madaling parang mairita. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So, pag sinabi po natin na kailangan balansehin, kailangan magkaroon sila ng proper regulations of their emotions. Mm -hmm. Now, for the impulse control problem, ito lang po ay simptomas ng baka meron pa silang isang possible na personality problem o kaya mm -hmm. naman po ay mood problem. Ayun. So, in in the long run, if uh, an anger, a normal emotion could be a symptom of a greater mm. psychological yeah, so, problem. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 that's it. That, yun yung hinihintay ko eh. Uh, yun ay symptomas lang yes. sa ma ma greater ma psychological ma hindi problem. Na, na problema. Problem. Going back to yung sinasabi mo na kailangan natin na ma-regulate properly mm -hmm. yung anger natin. How can we regulate properly our anger? Pwede po bang i-mention nyo? You, you mentioned earlier that we have to regulate properly our anger. If not, magkakaroon tayo ng outbursts and then we will have problems with our brain, with our mental functioning, no? and as well as our body. So, yeah, we have lots of ways actually to manage our, our anger. The first one, which is uh, popular actually. So, re regulation uh, is uh, managing. Opo. Okay. So, uh, one way, well, one thing, or one one technique that we could use mm -hmm. is the breath breathing technique. Mm -hmm. How we breathe properly, mm -hmm. because sometimes we cannot breathe properly because of our anger, angry feeling. Mm -hmm. So that's that's one thing. Now we, we take a deep breath once we mm -hmm. we are angry to somebody oh, or to some uh, circumstance. Oh, oh. But bang, can you demo it to us? Yung yeah, actually, you count from one to ten. Oh yeah, one to can ten, you do so it just... for us, please? <laughs> let's do it. So pano? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's just sit. Oh, so. Okay. Okay, okay. anger. For example, somebody. Galit, may isang galit, galit, na, galit, na, galit ako ngayon. Kasi oh, oh, <laughs> hindi, na galit hindi umuwi agad ang asawa ko. Oh, so galit, galit, galit ako. Sabi po ng research daw, you, sh oh. you should count one to ten bago, oh, ka, bago, bago mo kausapin o mag-react. Or you could leave the place na na ano tawag dito na wala siya na eh, mas lalo na mas lalay, lalayo ka doon sa tao na kinagagalitan mo eh magagalit naman yung mas, tao sa iyo kasi sasabihin bakit mo ka tinalikuran bakit ka umalis <laughs> <laughs> pero so po, think, po, one one thing is the breathing technique uh -oh. you need to breathe properly so paano so, yan uh, inhale exhale and yeah. uh, ganun lang actually there are um, steps for uh, proper steps for that uh, okay paano? which we cannot I think it is very long yeah. process. I think po one of the one yes. of the simple techniques so far in our counseling session, but that I usually ask my my patient or my client when it when it comes to letting them do some relaxation, I so just like, let them yeah touch there. Kailangan mm -hmm. po yung paa na sa floor. Okay. okay. And then so yung kamay. So without any footwear at all. Yeah. Okay. Then the hands must be sa kanila lang. Paano kung hanging ang paa? Mas maganda po talaga ko naka flat okay. sa floor. Uh -huh. Ayun. And, then, and then yung kamay ay nasa lap. Uh -huh. Ayun. Then yung yung shoulder ay relax. relax. Okay. And then uh i and po i i feel ng ano. Yes, but then we have to close our eyes. Uh -huh. Ayun. Para meditation. Yes po. We there but, are, but it's not meditation, not, it's not just similar to that. Relaxation. Yeah, relaxation. similar to that. Meditation is probably po deeper deeper management that could be guided then. Ayun, pero self help po pwede yon. So let's say uh, close our eyes and mm -hmm. then breathe. Inhale through the nostrils and then exhale sa ating bibig as if we are blowing a candle slowly. Mm. Hindi yung candle ng birthday candle. Oh, oh, yung balong. Oh, yung candle na siya. ayaw mong ma Oh, oh, dahan-dahan lang siya. Ayun. Okay. So it could be done 5 to 10 times. Ayun. Ang goal po natin doon ay for our feelings or for us to attain calm. Or and to release your yes. emotions. Peacefulness. Uh -oh. Yes po. It could be done several times. Kung a day, kung talagang ramdam natin na meron tayong galit na po ulit-ulit. Uh 
Oh, oh. Kasi kadalasan hindi po ito ma maiwasan. Nasa jeep ka, yung conductor, mm -hmm. yung driver, ano po ayun. So maraming bagay po na nandun yung mga pagkakataon na talaga so, nakakagalit. So kung nandiyan ang conductor at uh, kinagalitan mo, oh, oh. No, wag, wag mo agad na susunod. <laughs> yes, okay. ayun. So, ano ka, breathing breath. muna. Uh, deep breathing. breathing exercise. That could be muna. one of the ways po. And then probably... Yun yung sinasabi ni Doc na ano, breathing exercise, yes. pero actually dinidelay mo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> dinidelay mo yung mm -hmm. uh, sarili mo. Okay. There are some instances po kasi na we cannot actually do something about it. But in the end, one of the ways to deal with it is to just accept and let go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking at it na parang, ay, wagagawan ko pa ito ng paraan. Mm -hmm. Why don't we look at it in such a way na Ah, nangyari na yun. Ganun talaga. Mm -hmm. Parang kung baga po, I accept the reality. Yes. Although reality hurts at some point. Mm -hmm. But reality is real. Mm -hmm. Right? So we have to look at it and accept what really happened. And mm -hmm. in the end, at some point, it will give us peace of mind that it really happened and close deal na siya. Ayun, and oh. move forward to the, ne the next activity that we should be doing. Napakagandang, uh, napakagandang uh, recommendation, mm -hmm. suggestion, pero parang mahirap gawin. Ano mm -hmm. po? Oh, po, misan parang, easier said oh, than oh, done. Oh, easier Ayun. said than done. Mm -hmm. oh. So, um, interesado naman ako yung spiritual view ng anger. Ano ba ang masasabi mo tungkol dito? Um, when it comes to the spiritual view po, hindi man po ako pastor, pero I, <laughs> <laughs> I've read some of the uh -huh. uh, Bible verses. Sino po? Si Cain. Mm -hmm. Si Cain. Si Cain. Yeah, uh -huh. si Cain. Uh, Nagahalit siya sa kanyang kapatid, okay. which leads to uh -huh. killing his uh -huh. brother. So, that's, that's one great example uh -huh. on how angry would really uh, do something na uh -huh. um, talagang makaka-apekto talaga sa, uh -huh. lalo na nakapatay siya uh -huh. ng kanyang kapatid. Uh -huh. Pangalawa po ay si, um, si, si Moses. Okay. Si Moses, na hinampas niya yung bato. Oh, hinampas oh, oh. ng bato. Strike siyang tri ang naging tries? Oh, po, dapat strike. Dapat once lang. Oh, po. Okay. Ang oh. naging result, ay hindi siya nakapasok sa oh, Canaan. Oh, sa Canaan. Oh. So those are the, the Bible si characters. Mm -hmm. oh, po. Diba? Si Samson, nagalit siya dun sa mga ano. Then, pinush niya yung dalawang pillars. Tuloy pati siya, ano, uh, no, nas, mm. namatay. So what does the Bible say about anger? Um, anger, according to Proverbs 25:28, I think mm. I forgot the verse already. Mm. It's Proverbs 25:28. Mm. Yeah, a person without self-control is mm. like a city mm -hmm. that is broken down and without walls. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have self-control, kung wala kang self-control mm. sa sarili mo, para kang isang sudad na nasira at wala kang mga defense sa paligid mo, which is you will be vulnerable to several forms of distresses or uh, negative experiences. Kasi nga wala ka ng defense na dapat ay meron ka. But because of your um, anger, nawawala yun lahat. So self-control is very important uh, to all of us. Yun yung pinakaano ng ano eh, biblical perspective. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I think one of the uh, basic concepts as well na tinuturo po sa atin sa Bible is forgiveness. Ayun. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a, a proven research po na uh, forgiveness help, helps a person attain an optimum well of well-being. Ayun. So, mahalaga na mahirap man gawin. Ayun. Pero, kailangan po ano para rin ito sa ating ika, ikabubuti. Ayun. So, kahit mahirap gawin, madaling sabihin, oh, oh, oh. pero wala pong masamang subukan. Mm -hmm. Ayun. And it's biblical. Uh, Kung baga po, ay nasa biblical yun. Biblical, Ma biblically Ma speaking, it's, it's really uh, parang advised for us to be forgiving. Ayun. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, uh, mahalaga din na magkaroon tayo ng self-control like what uh, mm -hmm. Sir Ralph mentioned. And I think it's one of the fruit of the Holy Spirits. Uh -huh, yes. Yes. Love, yes. joy, uh -huh. peace, patience, understanding, yes. yeah, uh -huh. long Kindness. suffering. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So, napakaganda po ng uh, inyong mga nasabi. So, yung mga listeners natin, pati na ako, eh, talagang, ano eh, like, like what I've said, talagang normal na, mm -hmm. normal emotion. na emosyon ng, ng tao. Pero, hindi natin nare-realize, mga kaibigan, dito po bala ay... Uh, na dahilan no, ng pagkakaroon ng iba't ibang reaksyon sa ating brain, sa ating uh, isipan, pati na po sa ating, sa ating katawan. So kung gusto po nating mapanatiling malusog ang ating pangangatawan, especially po ang ating mental na kapasidad, 
ang ating mental health, eh kailangan pong ma-regulate natin. Dapat magtimpi tayo at i-control natin, i-manage natin ang ating mga galit. Well mga kaibigan, ma, um, to our guest uh, speakers, guest resource speakers, maraming maraming salamat. Pero magiging kasama pa rin po natin sila sa ating uh, next segment. At pag-uusapan po natin, kung ano ba ang dapat mong gawin kung merong nagagalit sa iyo ano ko at kung ano pa yung mga treatment and medication para sa isang tao na hindi makontrol ang anger lahat pong yan sa ating pagbabalik dito po sa programang Let's Talk About Mental Health wag po kayong alis babalik kami Welcome back sa ating program na Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ito po ang inyong host, Laline Ceron Alfanoso, at makakasama pa rin natin ang ating mga resource speakers, ang ating kaibigan si Myrtle Orbon at yes, si uh, Ralph Guanco. Maraming salamat. Ngayon, um, gusto kong balikan. Um, interesado ko kung ano ang koneksyon ng associated psychological disorder sa anger or anger. Ah, opo, ah, katulad ng ating nabanggit kanina, ang anger or anger ay isang normal mm -hmm. na emosyon, pero kailan ito nagiging problem? Mm -hmm. So, una, tingnan natin yung frequency. Ano po, balikan lang natin, frequency, gaano kadalas, intensity, gaano ka nagagal, mm -hmm. paano ka nagagalit, mm -hmm. namamato ka ba, naninigaw ka ba, nananapak ba, naninipa, mm -hmm. duration, ito ba ay umaabot ng buwan o kaya araw mm -hmm. lang. Now, the associated psychological disorders accompanied to these symptoms are, for example, antisocial personality disorder. Meaning? Meaning, ito po yung merong uh, uh, personalidad, ibig sabihin, pattern of behavior, mm -hmm. na ma madalas silang lagi pong halos galit. At mm -hmm. ang worst po nito ay wala silang pakialam mm -hmm. sa mga taong nagagawa nila ng ganong sitwasyon. Uh -huh. So, kahit pa man nasasaktan ko si mama, nasasaktan ko si teacher ko, I don't care. Oh, <laughs> Because oh that's how I express oh. my anger. May kumbaga po ay uh, tigas ng ulo nila, mm -hmm. talagang ayaw nilang sumunod. And they even resort to either homicidal. Oh. Oh. So, antisocial. Wow. And without remorse at all. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Nagsimula po yun ata sa conduct disorder din. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Sa edad na uh, nakabataan. Oh, oh, oh. So, maglilid lang siya sa antisocial antisocial personality disorder mm -hmm. kapag 18 and above na yung age. Ah, na tama yun sir, kumataan. tama yun. Kailangan pala na we should very uh, we should be very keen mm -hmm. sa pag-identify nitong mga taong ito kasi later on baka makagawa sila ng krimen. Mm -hmm. No? So um, they, they are um, they are considered high risk, no? Yes, ma'am. So individual sabi mo nga baka makapag-commit pa ng homicide. Yes. At some point po, uh, mayroon kasi mga rare cases but it happens yung intermittent explosive, mm -hmm. they set fire Yun. inside the building and they don't care at all. So Ayun. halimbawa, um, you are uh, home din, no? Home din ka. Then na identify mo na merong ganitong klasing personality, mm -hmm. anong aksyon? Anong aksyon ang dapat mong gawin o ginawa mo? Uh, first po, may protocols po kasi mm -hmm. tayo when it comes to the dormitory. We cannot just uh, mm -hmm. go into that ano, without evaluating, without understanding the person first. So the first thing we need to do is to understand the background mm -hmm. first. What, what happened, what triggers, what triggers the anger. Then, um, if we will not be able to handle that person, then the, the least that we can do is to refer to the professionals if we think that that person has at uh, an anger problem or homicidal or tendencies or aggressive tendencies that mm -hmm. is not uh, what they call that that is not a norm in the dormitory oh. 
So, be, ang madalas po namin ginagawa dyan, uh, ini-endorse uh, ini namin, it's either sa Guidance Counselor, Behavior Management Office, para may remedy sa kanila na maaari pang makatulong para maging maayos yung kanilang Paano anger problems. Paano kung gusto, kung, you know, yung homicidal, yung gusto mm. ng uh, pumatay, Manakay. sa guidance counselor pa rin ba uh, i-re-refer? Um, ang protocol po dyan ay dapat may security na, public yeah, security oh. or police because that's a because different case. You will put, mm. uh, you will put yourself to danger mm. oh, even yung ano, guidance counselor. Yes po. Oo, oh, oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, Ma'am Martel. Yeah, uh, dagdagan ko lang po yung mga ganong cases. Actually, may mga tinatawag pa kaming grounds for confidentiality na pwede natin i-break. Mm -hmm. So, meaning mm -hmm. to say, kahit uh, sinasabi ng client, ay, wag mong sasabihin kay Mama, naglit na sa kanya, pero plano ko nang talagang uh, saktan yung girlfriend ko mm -hmm. o yung boyfriend ko na talagang na nasaktan ako. Ayun. So, ang tendency po nun, we have the we have the authority to break the confidentiality uh -huh. for instance po uh, i had a recent case bipolar disorder mm -hmm. may may difficulty talaga siyang regulating emotions mm -hmm. and one of the things na ginagawa niya pag galit siya nananakit siya nanonuntok siya ng kapatid niya okay. ayun so uh -huh. it 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 ended to the point na yung kapatid niya of course nagko-complain kasi mm -hmm. ang dami niya ng pasa mm -hmm. ayun mm -hmm. and it's no longer uh, okay. manageable sa bahay uh -huh. so what happened was that the daughter uh, referred the mother, the daughter na po, ano kasi mature na rin yung, nan, yung, yung anak, uh -oh. referred the case of the, her of her mother sa PGH. And uh -huh. that's when I, I had a case. And one of the one of the problems po na nakita namin ay back to the background talaga niya. Babalikan uh -huh. po natin. Uh -oh. Why is it important na babalikan ng background? Trinitrace niyo ang alin? Yes po. Uh, in, in our case, in the psychological perspective, we have to have a balance, yeah. right, sir? The biological, the social, cognitive, the everything. cognitive, mm -hmm. and we co we call it also the psychodynamic of mm -hmm. of the person. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So it, it's possible. Tama ba, sir? Na nakaranas yung bata. May past na oh, oh, oh. maaring makakontribute doon oh, oh, oh. Sa, sa present condition ng bata. Mm -hmm. So kailangan intindihin po natin yung background ng isang kabataan mm -hmm. o ng isang tao bago natin sa ano husgahan o i-judge oh, oh. na ganun siya talaga. So, yeah. oh, okay. tama po. Kasi kadalasan po, ano, pag hurt people, hurt. Oh. Yun. So, hurt people, I'm hurting, so I tend to hurt others as well. Mm -hmm. So, parang ang cycle po ng parang pag-abuse, oh, oh, oh. when they Can't are a victim, oh, oh. Kaya nga sa it's a vicious cycle po siya. Oh, oh. So, an intervention like what Sir Ralph mentioned a while ago, yung kailangan it's either ma-refer siya sa specialist, or in other as cases. As soon as possible. Lalo na may mga self-mutilation. Yes. Yung like self-harm na. Self oh. 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 Yung self-mutilation, sir, if I'm not mistaken, ito yung tipong galit siya sa sarili niya. Hindi niya ma-express mm. sa, sa iba. So I therefore oh. express it to myself. Oh. I'll cut myself and attempt suicide. Which is one of the grounds for uh, a breaking of confidentiality. And oh, talagang yes. sabihin na po natin sa loved ones. Immediately. Oh. Yes. So sabihin na sa guidance counselor, sa parent, or sa guardian. Yes po. Emergency oh. ano siya. Emergency. Case. It calls for emergency. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh. Okay. So aside doon sa... Aside doon sa yeah. sinasabi mong treatment, ano, ano pa ba? Meron akong narinig na talk therapy is also mm -hmm. very important and uh, isa sa magandang strategy. Yes, sir. Talk therapy po is one important thing para ma-release yung anger, yung nararamdaman niya sa loob mm -hmm. ng kinikimkim -kim mm -hmm. niya. Kasi nga po may detawag na tayong expressive suppression, mm -hmm. na suppress yung emotion mm -hmm. because of the anger na hurt nila. Mm -hmm. So tinatago nila through talk therapy, uh -oh. that person will be able to release all the anger or to tell the stories about it or so that the person, the, the, the professional helping that person will be able to understand mm -hmm. the condition of the person. Mm -hmm. So there are other things pa when it comes to talk therapy. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anong, anong, mga na, anong mga components ng ano, talk therapy? Anong procedure? Are there some procedures? <laughs> or ito ba ay normal lang na ano, usap, um, usap yeah. lang? Or merong mga protocols na mm -hmm. dapat gawin? May requirements. Yeah. I'm glad that you're interested to know more about this. Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. uh, actually, this is a very usual activity of of a setup of a therapy. Mm -hmm. Po ano? Pero talk therapy is just one of the psychotherapy approaches. Meron din po tinatawag na CBT or cognitive behavior, behavior therapy. therapy. Oh. And one of the familiar therapies that I have done so far is forgiveness therapy. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So for the talk therapy or the in, in as as a whole, the psychotherapy, the goal there is for for the client to to get a sense of awareness uh -huh. and identify yung mga 
wrong, let's say, pag CBT, yung mga cognitive distortions niya. Rational niyo. beliefs. Mm. Yes. May, may mga kadalasan kasi, sir, tayo ay parang all or nothing. Yes. Pag hindi mo ito sa akin ginawa, mm. wala, galit na ako sa'yo. Or so, na -lab labeling. Yes. Na -label natin, ang sarili natin na tayo ay ganito, pero hindi naman. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, interesado ko sa mga nangyayari, no? Um, ikaw being uh, a health, uh, I mean, home dean, pagkatapos you as a guidance counselor, registered uh, adian, psychologist. Mm -hmm. Now, may mga instances ba, may mga cases ba na ikaw nagamit mo sa iyong, uh, sa iyong dormitory, uh, ano yan, resident, mm -hmm. yung, ano yan, yung talk therapy. Then ikaw naman, Doc, may pagkakataon ba na nagamit mo sa iyong kliyente ang CB, CBT, CBT. Cog Cognitive Behavioral Therapy? Yeah. Let's oh, start with you. Yeah, always po. It's always used mm -hmm. because I think that's very important, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. in a setting na malayo sila sa kanilang pamilya, mm -hmm. na some mm -hmm. are hiding their, mm -hmm. their feelings mm -hmm. within themselves, mm -hmm. na hindi nila kayang ilabas sa, okay. sa, sa, uh -huh. sa, sa bahay, sa tahanan mm -hmm. nila. So sa dorm nila nagagawa. Ako po, every time I visit, the dorm, mm -hmm. I, visit, I visit the room mm -hmm. and talk to them. Mm -hmm. I talk to them in a way na they would open up also mm -hmm. with their feelings, with all of their So how thoughts. do you do that? Halimbawa, ako na yung, ano, ako na yung studyante. So how do I open up? How would you, syempre, uh, uh, ano ko, ayaw kong mag-open up. Kasi si Sir mm -hmm. eh. So paano mo ko, uh, paano mo ko ma, ano ka ba yun, ma persuade uh, first, mag -open up. My first, my, my steps po dyan, first mm -hmm. one is to establish a rapport. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, makipag-usap ka muna na you introduce yourself, mm -hmm. that you will uh, mm -hmm. talk to the person, mm -hmm. and everything will be confidential. Mm -hmm. So you assure that person that uh, so you establish yeah, trust, you establish trust, mm -hmm. trust mm -hmm. na para ma-secure siya na everything mm -hmm. that he will be telling you or mm -hmm. she will be telling you about ay... Ano, sa kan, tayo, sa kan, dalawa lang kayo nakakaalam. So that's one thing, establish a rapport and then that's the, uh, that's the, that's the first step that you can do mm -hmm. para ma-open up siya mm -hmm. somehow. Okay. You cannot just, uh, in one day, you cannot do that oh, because oh. mahirap Kasi, naman talaga na sa isang araw oh, lang. Yung rapport will take months, mm -hmm. di ba? Kailangan, Sometimes, oh. lalo na po dun sa mga tao na talagang uh, yung rigid ang personality oh, oh. that they cannot just be, be open up Hmm. sa kanilang mga sarili agad, lalo na kapag may trust issues, hmm. yun po. And I think yung, yung G, makikita ng kliyente or ng dormitorian or ng kaibigan na genuine ka sa, sa mm -hmm. concern, sa yung concern sa kanya, yun I think will, uh, will open up. No, hindi lang ito interesado mm -hmm. na malaman ang aking problema, pero interesado ito na tulungan matulungan ako. ako. So, yung, yung, yung genuine support. Um, Ma'am uh, Myrtle, uh, paano naman po ang uh, kaganapan sa CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy? Yeah. Uh, for the CBT, it usually starts with how we think or how we perceive the circumstances mm -hmm. cognitively. Mm -hmm. So cognitive behavior therapy, mm -hmm. it's composed of two components. Mm -hmm. First is how we perceive the event. Mm -hmm. Ito ba ay nakakainis para sa atin or mm -hmm. ikadasasaya natin? Mm -hmm. And we will have to evaluate. So mm -hmm. meaning to say, pag na-establish lang rapport, which is the one of the first mm -hmm. st steps, and then develop empathy. Mm -hmm. Let the, mm -hmm. the, the client feel that you are with the process. Na, oh, oh. Hindi yan madali. I know it takes really mm -hmm. hard for you to timpe. Mm -hmm. oh, but I'm glad that you are here seeking help. Mm -hmm. At the same time, kumbaga po assuring. Now, I'm glad that you seek help. I know that you are here. I'm very much willing to help you. And I want you to join me as mm -hmm. we go together in this journey in such a way na mararamdaman po nung client na you are two in the journey. Not just the therapist, okay. but working together. Encourage. Oh. Encourage was very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for the CBT, yun po, we will let, let, let them understand ano ba yung mga iniisip mo na ikinagagalit. Mm -hmm. And then we have to actually challenge the thoughts na mm -hmm. uh, uh, may mga panahon ba na talagang nangyari yung yung ikinagagalit mo or ikaw lang nag-iisip noon. So, we have to actually challenge it. Then, tingnan natin yung emotional or let's say behavioral action niya. Mm -hmm. Ayun, kung dahil dun sa iniisip niya, nag-walk out na siya. Mm -hmm. Ayun, and then ask the client again, um, what are the circumstances mm -hmm. that are actually affected when you did this activity? Ayun, and what could be other activities that you could do kung tingin mo ano yung makakatulong para sa'yo na ma-handle mo yung sitwasyon. Ayun. So, parang it's more on looking at things differently and putting yourself afar from the situation and evaluating 
kung ano man yung mga nangyari na hindi naging effective mm-hmm. at ano pa yung pwedeng mangyari oh, na oh, oh. makakatulong pa. Ayun, kasi ang nangyayari po, usually po, ano, when we're in the situation, we are too close to it. Mm-hmm. That, na hindi mo na nakikita. Yes, oh. na iba pa palang options na pwede mm-hmm. tayong makita. And, and CBT, it's one of the most, sorry, most important factors mm-hmm. to identify our cognitive distortions and have a proper reaction to it. Mm-hmm. And it will result to a proper relationship with other people. Yeah. Okay, very well okay. said. So yes, one sir? more thing po, positive thinking uh-huh. is very important. Uh-huh. Yes, optimism. Because, yeah, optimism mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. that would um, um, release, uh, what do what you call that, that, that would help us regulate positive emotions, mm-hmm. release positive emotions. Mm-hmm. Because I recommended the research that we should have at least three, three positive emotions and one negative oh. emotion only. So, three Wag is to one. one. <laughs> Pero, as much as possible, mas wala marami, talaga. <laughs> mas marami yung positive three. pa rin. Recommended lang po oh. yun. Kasi the more, the better. Oh, the kasi more, the better. Yeah, kasi yes. abnormal naman na wala talaga wala negative. Wala talaga oh. negative emotion. Basta, make it a point na ma- kung may negative man, mas marami ang positive. Oh, mas, yeah. Much better. The more, oh. the merrier. The more, <laughs> it's, uh, the more na okay yun sa okay. atin. Pero, sa inyong sa inyong personal life, meron na bang uh, pagkakataon na talagang galit na galit kayo pagkatapos eh, uh, nagamit niyo itong talk therapy sa kayong CBT at iba't ibang uh, klaseng mga strategy to control your anger. Yeah. And a personal note po, ano, na parang in, in some instances, I actually experienced being angry at, at some point, professionally speaking. Parang may hindi ako makakontrol na bagay, pero it happened. Mm-hmm. So parang nagagalit ako sa sitwasyon. Uh-huh. So not to the person, pero to the situation. Uh-huh. Now what I did, I was with my mom at that time, and my mom was very supportive of me. I actually expressed how I felt. Mm-hmm. I did not blame the person I was angry at, but rather I told my mom, I felt bad when I heard this. I felt bad when I learned about this. Mm-hmm. So it's more an eye language, mm-hmm. owning what I felt. Oh, not making, that's very good. Yeah, uh-huh. not making the person feel blamed. Uh-huh. This person made me feel this way. Uh-huh. So it's more an eye language. I felt, uh-huh. I felt really sad when I mm-hmm. heard this. I'm not happy with what I heard. Ayan. So owning and it makes That's me aware. That's a good technique, di ba? Yeah. That's a good mm-hmm. it's uh it's far different from uh, the usual thing na, that we do na talaga nagagalit tayo dun sa person talaga uh, di ba? Parang napakahirap kasi yung sitwasyon ng paggalitan mo. Yes. Yung, yung, yung mama ang uh, sumakit sa iyo or kaya uh, yun ang, siya ang dahilan kung bakit nagalit ka. Yes, it's, I think it's more like owning and being Mm-mm. aware of what I'm currently feeling. Mm-mm. And so I I language so yun. And it helped me a lot. Kung baga po ay natanggal so, yung, yung sumanalob ko nung, nara, nung nalabel ko emotion ko na hindi pala ako nasayahan dun sa napakinggan ko. So halimbawa, pa, bibigyan kita ng, uh, ng isang halimbawa. Um, yun nga, merong, merong plane na, mm-hmm. na, na, na delay. Uh, na delay. <laughs> pagkatapos na andun ka sa foreign land, pagkatapos uh, stranded ka doon for 37 hours, galit ka doon mm-hmm. sa ano, galit ka doon sa, ano nga ba to, doon sa airline. airline. Sa airline. Doon sa mga airline ka galit, pero hindi naman sila yung ano, may sila kasalanan. Yung may kasalanan. Paano mo pa iiralin yung, ano, yung teorya mo? Yeah. In that instance po, we have to look at the situation. Like for example, paano ba nangyari yung aksidente? Mayroon bang may kagustuhan ng aksidente? Of course, to tell, mm. to, to answer that, wala talagang may gusto. Talagang po, ano? background oh. din yes. talaga. Oh. So we have to evaluate, ano ba yung nangyaring event? Ayun. Kasi I think one of the important concepts we have to look into is the motive. Mm. Kung minsan mas, mas sinasadya, minsan mas nakakagalit Nakapaga, talaga yun. Talaga. Oh. Diba oh. ma? Pero oh pag cost. ito ay parang normal siya nangyari na, ay, it's really an accident. Nalulungkot tayo or nagagalit tayo. Mm. Pero I think we have to evaluate, is it okay to feel this yes. way? Or instead of feeling this way, isn't it that it would be better if I accept what happened because I cannot do anything about yes. it though. Parang gan- Although mahirap lang siya mam tanggapin. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi I heard or I, ha- I saw, di ba Sir Ralph, pag mga sa social media, grabe po yung oh. complain nila. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Totoo yun. Now, uh, halimbawa, meron talagang, uh, meron kang uh, kinagalitan. May isang tao na talagang nag-provoke sa'yo, pinatawad mo, mm-hmm. no? uh, you handle your stress, you handle your anger. Kasi sabi nga, uh, mag-breathing exercise muna, pagkatapos uh, CBT at marami pang iba. Pero kung itong person naman ay parating ginagawa yun sa'yo, no? mm-hmm. paulit-ulit, 
So, paano mo makukontrol ang anger mo niyan? Anong klaseng, uh, paano mo mareregulate yung anger mo niyan? If, they, if that person is continuously provoking you. Um, actually, it depends upon the person's personality kung paano niya i-handle yung situations. Kasi nga, di ba, there's a quotation that we are not disturbed by things, but we are disturbed by the view we take <laughs> uh -huh, on things. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's about the perception. It's mm -hmm. about the reaction of us to things. So it's up to us if we would react to that person in mm -hmm. a uh, destructive manner or in a positive mm -hmm. manner. Uh -huh. So it's just, we need to be aware of yeah. ourselves also. Uh -huh. Are we really that aggressive? Or are we, so, yeah. So, so ang gusto mong sabihin, let him do his thing. Yes. <laughs> no. But pero ikaw, uh, you you just have to control yeah, your emotions, you control your, your emotions. anger. Oh. Yeah, I'll add on to that, sir. Because there are instances, kasi na parang uh, we have to look at it po in in such a way na dito po kasi po pasok yung positive benefit ng anger. Because yeah. oh, mahirap oh, yeah. naman. Ano na, yung positive oh, oh, benefit? <laughs> mahirap anger. naman na all all throughout. All Hinaya an lang natin oh, na ma. galitin oh, tayo oh, ng oh, ibang tao. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, special case pa yung abuse. Mm -hmm. Ayun. So may mga cases na pinubuli ka na. Yes. Oh. Uh, like for example, nandun na sa emotional abuse, oh. nandun na sa physical abuse, oh, oh, and much oh, more sexual oh. abuse. And ito yung sinasabi ng concept, ay, okay lang yan, pagpatawad mo na yan, oh. wag ka magalit sa kanya. Oh. Pero if the person is more aware, the, the, oh, the anger is actually, you. yes, oh. the anger is valid, valid. right? Oh. Which makes it the perspective factors na hindi na maganda yung nararamdaman ko oh. sa taong ginag, nag, sa, nananakit sa akin. So I felt anger towards the person. That and is it comes, allowed. Yes, it, it's actually uh, what we call, we are all entitled for a sense yeah. of emotion. Oh. Mm -hmm. And in that, sa, lalo na sa case ng abuse, it calls for professional, professional help. help. Kasi oh. hindi naman talaga sa lahat ng panahon na, Okay lang yan, i-manage lang natin yung emotion natin. But there are some instances or exceptional to the point na pag nakikita natin na it harms to us mm -hmm. and it harms to, ha to others, uh, it calls for professional help. Kasi lalo na po sa case ng abuse, talaga mm -hmm. nakakagalit din kung talagang paulit-ulit na ginagawa. Oh, oh, oh. So the purpose there is to really seek for intervention Tama. para oh. makat yung paulit-ulit ng oh. cycle. Oh. Intervention abuse. for the person na gumagawa yes. niya. Person. And in the case of abuse, if I'm not mistaken, sir, no, may, okay. meron tayong Department of Social Welfare, Welfare and Development. Development. Yung ina-abuse. Yes. Oh. You can actually refer them immediately. Mm -hmm. You cannot, uh, hindi mo lang, ikaw mm -hmm. sarilihin mo lang yung problema o yung anger na dahil nga nagkaroon ng problema doon. Mm -hmm. Refer as much as possible, as early okay. as possible, na nanonotice mo na na mayroon ng problema mm -hmm. agad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. So, and you also can probably self-refer, self, self uh, no? Self, mm -hmm. oh. Oh, oh. Hmm. Talaga nakikita natin na hirap na hirap na Ikaw tayo. mismo. Yes oh. po. And there's nothing so, wrong seeking help. professional help. Yes. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Yan. Kasi if I may add, um, yung anger problem is one is also one of the symptoms of bipolar disorder. Bipolar Tama, disorder. Sir, no? yes. And yeah. oh, oh. mood Mood uh -oh. Disruptive mood dysregulation. Uh -oh. So, kung, kung meron kang nakitang tao na paulit-ulit na lang mm -hmm. um, ang anger niya, hindi makontrol, so mm -hmm. pa parang ano, parang sign yan, sign symptoms na that may lead to ano yan, a more complicated problem. problem. So, parang ano mo na yun? <laughs> Warning signal. Yeah, it's a red signal for uh -oh. a greater ano, uh -oh. parang problem. need of... Uh -oh. Huwag na maghintay na uh -oh. lumala pa yung problema. Don't wait until uh -oh. it's too late. Yes. yes. Now, um, eto, uh, meron bang naidudulot na maganda ang anger? Ah, sige sir, um, ano ang tingin mo? Um, historically speaking, uh -oh. I'm looking at the historical perspective. <laughs> okay. uh -oh. Diba yung mga ancestors natin, they uh -oh. run because of fear. Uh -oh. They are uh, at, at for survival survival uh -oh. instinct, natin, yeah. the fight or flight response. Uh -oh. We fight because we, uh, we need to uh -oh. for us to survive. Uh -oh. Kailangan nating mag-survive. So, uh -oh. in, in the same manner sa atin, we still do, but some, but we can do other things positively. Mm -hmm. Not just to hurt the person, to punch the person. Kasi may mga tendency na gano'n na maaaring mangyari for survival instinct. Uh -huh. But then again, anger, you could run. Uh -huh. Di ba? Historical. Kung uh -huh. titignan mo yung mga ating mga ninuno, tumatak mo sila pa, pag hinahabol sila ng ano, ng ano, lumalaban din sila to survive para maging maayos yung kanilang sarili. Tapos ngayon, maari din yung makatulong sa atin sa so, kapag ganun ang nangyari. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I think survival point no. Oh, survival. Yeah, at, at some point being angry is actually implies full of energy. Aha. Yeah, someone na <laughs> punong-puno ng energy. Mm -hmm. Ayun, and one of the ways actually help the person divert mm -hmm. mga several avenues, no? Mm -hmm is yung kung may positive po na let, let's look at it, let's look at it positive perspective mm -hmm. ng energy not the 
Bale. anger per oh. se. Oh. Pero yung taong merong energy, kasi ang usual naman ata, sorry na magagalitan, yung mga taong talagang type A, type they're full oh. of energy. Ayan. And one of the ways na we can do is to divert our energy into several avenues such as going to music, arts and mm, sports. sports. Okay. So these are actually considered now as a therapy as well. Mm -hmm. Either music therapy, art therapy, and nowadays there there is it was uh, there is this what we call sport psychology. Sport psychology. Uh -huh. They use it as a treatment yes. either for behavioral problems or developmental problems and much more handling emotions such as anger. Yeah, yeah physical yeah. exercise is very important. Uh -huh. Research would uh -huh. say that it is associated to wonderful well-being or oh. positive oh. well-being so okay. yes. be physical be active uh -huh. always that's very important okay yeah. thank you so much so ano po yung masasabi nyo sa ating mga televiewers um, mga suggestions recommendations kung sila ay uh, nasa punto na uh, may ikinakagalit sila ano ang dapat nilang gawin uh, yes. sa akin personally uh, let's not allow to be controlled by the circumstances around us, but let's let us try to control the circumstances so it won't control us. And uh, let's remind ourselves with the key text found in Galatians 5 verse 22 regarding the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is long-suffering self-control. Alright? Wala pong masamang magalit. Pero ingatan po natin kung paano natin ine-express ang nararamdaman ito. Kasi normal po ito, pero maraming paraan na makakatulong para positibo po natin itong mahandel. Yeah. Uh, for me, let us not disturb by the things as what I have said mm -hmm. a while ago. Or let us not be disturbed by the things around us. Mm -hmm. But what is more important is to look uh, at our own reaction or perception on those kind of circumstances. And I would like to repeat this, Proverbs 25, 28, a person without self-control it's like a city that is broken and without walls. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much as our uh, guest uh, speakers, resource speakers, Dr. Thank you, um, Mom Orbon and uh, Sir Ralph Wanko. Maraming maraming salamat mga kaibigan sa pakikisama sa amin. Dito po sa programang Let's Talk About Mental Health. Ito po ang inyong likod, Lelaine Saron Alpanoso. Nagpapasalamat muli.